Hello and welcome to the November 2020 Gaming PC Builds of the Month brought to you by NoobComputerBuild.com. My name is Corey. Uh, we're here this month with the typical Builds of the Month, but before we get started, uh, I want to go through some uh, new updates that have come out in the world of uh, our CPUs and GPUs and AMD and Intel and, um, not Intel, sorry, Intel's getting crushed. That's the uh, summation of it, but uh, AMD and NVIDIA with their graphics cards. So uh recently amd announced their uh ryzen 5000 series on their zen 3 uh they're going to be coming out with a few processors here uh that will replace the current ryzen uh, 3000 series um with the with a few uh here let me scroll down um do 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 here they here they are so we have the ryzen 9 5950x coming out this is at 16 cores which is insane uh, we have the 5900X, the 5800X, and the 5600 here, uh, the ones that you want to pay attention to. Uh, these are the ones that you want to pay attention to. They are quoted at being uh, anywhere from benchmarks that aren't out yet, but do expect to see these uh, released on November 5th. Um, but they are uh, projected to be 20 to 50% faster than uh, the Ryzen 3000 series, which is insane, <laughs> 20 to 50%. Um, and they kind of replace the current ones that are on the market. So... Uh, we can see here we have the Wraith Stealth uh, cooler that it's included the 5600X, which I think is going to come out at $299. Uh, and then the 5800X will be at $449, but these do not have uh, thermal solutions. Uh, so do keep that in mind when they come out because these are really competing with the Intel processors uh, on the on the market right now and are, are supposed to be quite a bit better uh, gaming-wise. So, uh, And then the top-end one also, no cooler included and i only mention that because they are going to be a little more expensive uh or they're competing price wise now amd is on top and they're competing uh to be a premium processor uh side by side with intel so intel's uh cpus uh don't generally include uh cooling solutions as well but usually you'd get an amd one and be able to save that way but i just want to mention that as i was looking at looking at this the second thing i want to mention uh, bef uh is uh the new rx 6000 series uh, gpus that are coming out uh, I think mid-November here. So these will come out to replace the current uh, RX series, but they're going to be releasing three to start, the RX 6900 XT, the RX 6800 XT, and just the RX non -X, uh, 6800 non-XT. Uh, these three here that you see here. Uh, and these will compete directly with, so the 6900 XT will compete directly with the recently released RTX 3090 by uh, NVIDIA and will be priced at about $1,000. The 6800 XT uh, will be priced, uh, will be competing with the RTX 3080 and will be priced at $649. And the RX 6800 is to compete with the RTX 3070, which just, just recently came out on the market, except um, you can't find any, any of those cards anyway. They're all out of stock. Uh, um, so it might be hard to get your hands on those anyway, but these will be coming out and competing with those and are said to use less power, believe it or not. And, uh, and, uh, um, yeah, which is insane. And I just want to click here on some of the quoted, uh, benchmarks that they have. Like if we go to say battlefield five here, uh, we're at 4k ultra. So insane. So we have the 6900 here and it's getting it's uh you know this is amd's benchmarks by the way there's no other tests out there right now but it's saying they're getting 120.5 fps uh, on that card uh compare that to the rtx 3090 uh, by nvidia at 110.7 fps so they're saying that they're these cards are obviously this is from amd <laughs> but are competing quite well uh, against the most recent nvidia cards so a lot going on guys i just wanted to mention that like i said these three new cards just came out and they're technically on the market hard to get your hands on uh by nvidia um but yeah there's a lot going on and a lot of exciting things uh considering that the uh all of this is just broken performance benchmarks by what no i think nobody expected so back to the builds <laughs> just a quick update there so we have our, our uh, builds here we have the $1,500 gaming pc build of the month for november 2020 the $1,000 build the $700 build and the $500 build and everything in between because these are the builds that most most gamers will probably be in if they're going to be gaming at the 1080p to uh 1440p up into 4k resolutions at okay settings so let's get started with the $1,500 build uh for this month so currently this is the beginning of the month 
mind you. Uh, these may change as the months go on. So uh, the CPU we have for the $1,500 gaming PC build is the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X. Gone down a little bit in price this month at $294.99. Uh, this comes with the stock AMD Wraith Prism Cooler, which performs amazingly. The motherboard uh, Asus AM4 Tough Gaming X570 Plus uh, motherboard coming in at $179.99. Uh, the graphics card is st which, uh, still a good card on the market, the RTX 2070 Super. Uh, that comes in at $519.99. But I want to put this here. I would include the RTX 3070 if they were on the shelves. It's I don't... Uh, uh, people have been saying that you might not even be able to get your hands on one until the new year. I don't know if it'll be that long, but if you can get a 3070 over the RTX uh, 2070, do it. And even if it's, if it's a bit more, do it. It performs better. But otherwise, the RTX 2070 could be good. And this month, there's going to be uh, some... Um, you can probably get some of these builds for much cheaper because there's going to be the Black Friday sales and the Cyber Monday sales. And so you might be able to get your hands on some cheap, uh, cheaper hardware. Uh, the uh, memory we have, or the RAM we have for this one, is the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit, DDR4 3600 uh, megahertz kit at $64.99. Storage we have is a Western Digital Black 1 terabyte NVMe SSD at $129.99. Power supply is, uh, is EVGA 750GQ, uh, uh, gold-rated power supply, $112.15. I would recommend uh, uh, another one such as this uh, EVGA Supernova 750P2, platinum-rated with high, higher efficiency, but it's hard to get your hands on lately too, uh, And but it will be a little more expensive. And the case we're featuring this month for this build is the Cooler Master Masterbox TD500 at $99.99. This build comes in at under, well under $1,500 at $1,412. The next build we have is the $1,000 build. This is that build for those of you that want to game extreme settings at 19, at 1080p and uh, higher settings at uh, 2K resolutions. You'll be able to max out at both those and in, uh, in most games out there. So uh, not a problem. The CPU we have is the Ryzen 5 3600X. Comes with a cooler, Ray Spire cooler. Uh, come, the motherboard we have here is the ASRock B550 Pro 4. At $134.99. Uh, sorry, the CPU was at $244.99. Again, a little cheaper than it was the previous month. Uh, graphics card, Asus Tough uh, Gaming 3 RX 5700 XT. A fantastic card at $239.99. I do want to mention with some of these other uh, cards coming out, they're not necessarily priced uh, into the lower end builds in, in, in this article here. So uh, we have, um, like for example, the lower end RX card coming out uh, priced at $519. So well over this so um this won't affect this uh, uh quite as much until uh, nvidia and uh, amd come out with the uh, cards that are competing at the lower end here um the memory we have is the corsair vengeance lpx 16 gigabytes at uh, 3664 dollars uh storage we have is a crucial p1 500 gigabyte nvme ssd at 59.99 power supply we have is a corsair cv series cv 650 uh 69.99 and then uh, the case we have for this one is the Corsair Carbide Series 175R RGB uh, at $59.99. And this build does come in above $1,000, uh, but you should be able to get that near $1,000 this month with uh, some of the sales going on. But $1,045 uh, at the beginning of the month here. Uh, for the $700 build, this is for those that want to game at higher settings at 1080p resolutions in most games. Uh, and, and game sm smoothly at those settings, not a problem at all. Uh, so AMD Ryzen 5 3600 uh, CPU at $199.99 comes with the Wraith uh, Stealth Cooler. Uh, motherboard we have is the ASRock B550 MHDV is a micro ATX uh, board. Uh, so a smaller form factor at $80.99. Graphics card, MSI Gaming Radeon RX 5600 XT. We bumped this one up this month to this card. So uh, because the previous 1660 Super, which doesn't perform as well, is priced strangely at the same price price this month at $259.99. Um, the me memory we have is a Patriot Signature Premium DDR4 8GB kit uh, at for $39.99. And the SSD we have is the Crucial P1 500GB NVMe SSD at $53.99. Power supply, Thermaltake Smart 500 watts at $47.99. And the PC case we have is the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L Micro ATX, uh, which will fit this build, build perfectly at $44.99 and a bit over $700 at $727. The final build, the $500 build, I used to call this one the console killer, might not be quite as relevant uh, these days, but it, it, it'll perform quite well at 1080p, uh, even medium to high settings at 1080p uh, without an issue. So CPU we have is the AMD Ryzen 5 2600 processor with the Ray Stealth Cooler, motherboard Asus Prime, um, that's sorry, $140.09. 
Motherboard is the Asus Prime B450M, a micro ATX uh, motherboard, $7799. The graphics card to power this uh, this uh, $500 PC is e the Radeon RX 5500 XT, coming in at $179.99. Then the memory we have is the Patriot Signature Premium DDR4, 8GB kit, $35.99. We have a SATA SSD for this one. This is the PNY 240GB one, a CS900 240GB SSD at $26.99, uh, the power supply, Thermal Take Smart 500, $47.99, and then the case again is the Cooler Master, Master Box Q300 out at $44.49, and this does come in, again, I know some of these builds are coming a bit overpriced, but uh, it's because of some of the things going on with some of the hardware being kind of all over the place, but uh, in terms of cost, but this is at $558. Um, and well worth it so do keep an eye out for some of those sales coming up this month too to kind of dwindle that price down a bit all right thanks for tuning in for this month's builds if you want to learn more about these builds have any questions leave a comment or come to the site noobcomputerbuild.com uh, which you can see at the bottom here on the screen um, and you can leave a comment there we also include alternatives for all these builds uh, so if you want uh, to jump in here you can go straight into uh, our site here and we have uh, uh, hardware alternatives if you have more to spend or you want upgrades or ideas uh, and things like that but uh, until next month uh, best of luck building and uh, yeah a lot of exciting things going on take care